Shall we begin? Hey, YouTube, Ben Ochard here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had a uh, someone reach out to me, a contact of Adam C., somebody who had been working with Adam C. on providing him with some plants to add some color to his tank. And uh, these, of course, were, were plastic plants because they're going to be going in with large cichlids. So, Adam, so the fellow, Jack Arndt, and I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing his name right, A-R-N-D-T, Jack, and his dad, uh, Mike, uh, contacted and spoke with me about providing me with some plants that look really, really good and would go well in an African cichlid tank. The, um, the reason I go with plants, of course, is I like to have uh, a place where fish can go and chill and be out of the line of sight of other fish that might be harassing them. And um, so I like to have something in the tank beside just rock, rock work. And uh, I like the color it adds to tanks. And I know some people hate false or fake plants. And I was never really big on them myself. And I used to kind of uh, uh, not consider uh, those kinds of tanks as uh, the real deal. But as, uh, as these uh, fish started to destroy the real plants, I was trying to get into the tank. I realized that I needed, uh, I needed an, alter an alternative. Um, <clears throat> my friend over at, um, when he was over at Universal Rocks, uh, Jay Wilson, he provided me with the, with the plants that were in the tank previously. And I liked them a lot. They were uh, sturdy and provided some good, uh, good coverage for the fish and uh, were, worked well in a tank this size. But I was ready for, ready for a change, ready to mix things up and uh, do a little bit of a makeover. And uh, interestingly enough, right when I was starting to think that, uh, Adam C, you can visit his channel, I'll put a link below, great channel, great guy. Adam C reached out to me and said, hey, I got a guy who's, uh, who's looking to promote some of his uh, artificial plants. And, um, and I said, fine, have him contact me. And um, Jack gave me a, uh, gave me a text with me, PM me, and we started talking back and forth. And, and apparently his mom was a florist and uh, decided to start doing things for tanks and uh, created some very high quality products. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm giving this one a real good vacuuming and I've pulled out the older plants that were from Universal Rocks as you can see here and uh, I'm probably going to leave some of the grass, some of this grass uh, you can see right in here, some of this grass area here, I'll leave that in there because I love those. And uh, Let's take a look at what Jack provided and let's go ahead and put it in the tank and you tell me what you think after I've uh, completed the project. You tell me what you think and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, you know me, I always like to shake things up, I'm always changing and hopefully you gain something from that, okay? Thank you so much. So I unboxed the plants and the first thing I noticed was that there was a obviously a lot of um, attention to detail. The quality and the color of the plants is great. And they use this, um, this slate, this, this actual um, stone, like almost like a small flagstone with a shell and some sand that actually serves as the foundation or base of the plant. So you can see there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, hand craftsmanship here, and uh, and what I'm hoping is that that flat, heavy rock base is going to keep the plants in place and not allow them to be blown around by, you know, by the powerful power head that I have in there, or by the uh, large fish who from time to time can knock things out of place just because of their size. You can see the color and the... Um, the quality of these plants and on some of the uh, bases on some of the rock bases there are different types of plants uh, so you'll get um, these lighter leafy plants along with these ferns and things of this nature so there'll be a couple different types attached to one rock and fastened down with that with that small shell at the bottom let's take one last look at these plants that have served me well from um, Universal Rocks over in Texas. And you can see they were, um, they're coming out of a base that is designed to uh, match the Universal Rocks rocky thin background 
that I have in this 150 gallon. So let's take a last look at it. Well, rather than have you watching me uh, install these plants, I've gone ahead and just done the install and I'm gonna show you the, the uh, completed product. And uh, as you can see here, he's provided me, Jack, <clears throat> excuse me, provided me with quite a bit of, uh, of plants of uh, foliage here. And uh, you can see the um, the mix of plants that come out from the uh, from the base. I really like that uh, slate base. Uh, it, you can see it disappears entirely, so it looks like the plants are now coming out of the uh, crushed coral, as opposed to growing out of the rocks like the universal uh, plants I had in there before. They're able to disguise the power head and. Uh, pretty much block the uh, the overflow box. The fish, uh, I really enjoy watching them go in and out of the plants and go around the plants. And as I mentioned earlier, I love the fact that they can use the plants to, uh, to chill out or get away from a fish that might be chasing them so they get out of the line of sight. And uh, I know this is very different from what you would see in Lake Malawi. And... Uh, but uh, then again, you don't see too many uh, glass or acrylic boxes in the lake either. So <laughs> we, do, we do keep our tanks the way we want them. So um, this green um, leafy one here, I like a lot. Um, I may be thinning this out just a little bit so it's not quite as thick in some areas. But overall, I would give these plants a, a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the reason they're not a 10 is because they're not real. They are plastic, uh, and in the end, uh, but as a plastic plant goes, I think their quality is exceptional. I'm going to po uh, post a link below to um, EliteCichlids.com, Elite Cichlids. They will custom order. They will make plants for you that match the decor of your tank and the look that you're trying to get. You can also uh, see them at Elite Cichlids on Facebook. And, uh, and I was told uh, that if you uh, do get some products from them, you can use um, Ben O, B-E-N-O, and you will get a 10% discount on your first order. So if you're interested in... Um, and doing uh, some change up in your tank like I've done here in this one, uh, go ahead and reach out to them. I will put all of their contact information below. And if you use Ben O, you will get 10% off on your first order. Okay. So um, there they are, uh, fully installed. Uh, the, um, the fish, of course, needed to get a little acclimated and used to the... Uh, the change but overall I'm very very happy with what I'm seeing here so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in and uh, be sure to uh, uh, post your comments below let me know what you think of the uh, jungle behind me here and uh, <laughs> the fish seem to be <laughs> the fish seem to be enjoying it I certainly like the look of it uh, and uh, be sure to check out Jack Mike and uh, their mom the florist I'll put the links below and uh, over at Elite Cichlids and uh, I'll put all their contact information uh, below, uh, below this video. And uh, don't forget with the Ben O, uh, Ben O code, you get 10% off your first order and they will custom make uh, plants to suit the look that you're looking for in your tank. So, uh, so there it is. Thank you so much, uh, Jack, Mike and the family over there for the plants. And thank you folks for tuning in. Much appreciated as always. Uh, be sure to follow on, on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid and uh, come, uh, come visit the Facebook group, Ben O apostrophe Cichlid. Thank you so much and that's it for me.